it's very difficult to navigate the system, even as an attorney sometimes, because the bureaucracy is very complicated. So people who uh, don't have legal assistance have a very difficult time. And then, you know, you add along things like the difficulties that people with low incomes have in transportation, just basic getting around, um, all of those things uh, added together, there, there, there are tremendous barriers. I had worked very actively in Ohio in the legal services field. And uh, when I came to Illinois, um, I wanted to slow down a bit, and uh, I decided that I would just do volunteer services. And uh, I ended up at uh, LAF, where I volunteer from 20 to 30 hours a week. I started out in the um, uh, abuse, and neglect, child welfare uh, field, and I sort of worked my way into education. So I do both. I've worked in one case for almost five years now. It's uh, an older sister who grew up in the foster system who has been attempting to adopt her younger brother. Their, their mother has a very serious drug problem, and there are seven children all in the system. She's the oldest one attempting to adopt the younger one. She wants to do the right thing, and, and she has a strong sense of family, despite her almost lack of family growing up. She was the foster parent for the child. The child was removed from her for a short time because um, the Department of Children and Family Service thought there was an arrest warrant against her, which there wasn't. And uh, I'm happy to say um, we're at the very final stages of adoption right now. And um, it's, it's, they're a great family. Right out of law school, I was very fortunate to clerk for a federal district court judge who was um, the embodiment of fairness. And um, I had the unfortunate belief that all judges were like that. And I was, pretty, I was straightened out pretty quickly. This gentleman, his name was uh, John Holshu. He, um, he's deceased now, but he, um, he literally agonized over every case. When he had to sentence somebody, he, he, he wrung his hands over it. And um, his sense of fairness and what was right and wrong really, really affected me. My career path was to go to a firm. And uh, after I left that office, I decided to become an assistant public defender instead. And since that time, I have been um, only doing public service work. His sense of right and wrong and his sense of fairness had such an impact on me that, um, th that that's what I've wanted to do. I think, you know, what comes to mind immediately is like helpful, necessary, resource, um, but it's more than that.